fan in a position of power is getting involved because he thinks his team was cheated out of the Super Bowl a few years ago. Right. So now he's involved. So now he's doing all this, digging up all this dirt, wanting to try to prove that the Patriots cheated and have been cheating and that there's some sort of NFL cover-up oh, man. because Goodell destroyed the tapes. Blow this whole thing open. Yeah. And it's like, dude, if there was a cover-up, if the NFL was trying to cover this up, we wouldn't have even known about it. Right. The NFL, uh, they're, they're the ones who told everybody that this happened. That's the whole reason that we even know about any of it. And it, yeah. Hey, check it out. I've said this before. NFL does a terrific job of policing their sport yeah. and also of not hiding things. They don't hide things. One of the biggest names in the sport, Sean Merriman, last season, the season before last, tested positive for steroids. Yeah. Did they try to hide that? No. Well, that's one of the biggest names in the league, Sean Merriman. We heard about it. We heard about it right when it happened. Steroids. He did steroids. Yeah. He's in trouble. Yeah. The NFL doesn't. Uh, see you later, Missa. Missa's going to eat dinner. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. It's just the NFL doesn't cover stuff up. This is obviously just a, just a desperate attempt Yeah. by a diehard Eagles fan. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, uh, and apparently there's this guy, Matt Walsh, who was the Patriots' videographer. Videographer? I don't know. Even how to, I didn't know the teams had one. Right. But uh, this guy has apparently said, yeah, I have, uh, you know, some information that could be damning to the Patriots. I mean, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I don't have it right here in front of me. Right. Um, and I will tell you about it, ESPN, if you agree to cover all the legal fees that might ensue if I get sued for coming out with this. I'll give you the story if you... I'm serious. He said this. This, this is honest. That is quite I will give you the story if you agree to pay my legal fees because I'll probably get in trouble for violating like a privacy law, uh, you know, some sort of agreements that he had with the Patriots. Right. So what he's saying is... And, and honestly, this guy, this Matt Walsh, is working in Maui now as a golf pro. Oh. Um, you know, on a some golf course in Maui. It's got to yeah. be a pretty good job. However, working for the Patriots, I would think, would be a better job. Well, yeah. And the Patriots fired this guy. They did not part on mutual terms. They fired yeah. Matt Walsh. You get the hell out of here. So now, and, Matt, and it was like in 2003 when they fired Matt Walsh. Yeah. And so now Spygate comes out. Uh which, by the way, gets covered up in no way, shape, or form. Um, we were told exactly what happened. The Patriots were videotaping uh, the defensive coaches of the Jets right. in the first game of the season. See what they were calling. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. We took the tapes. We find Belichick personally. We find the team. We took a pick away from the team. Uh, the harshest penalty ever doled out yeah. to any, any team for any infraction. Yeah. The, the, all this stuff has happened. It was all made public. We heard about all of it. The, everybody knew. No cover-ups. Why get Dell destroyed the tapes? I don't know. Yeah. Who does know? And nobody knows. He knows. He says it was to protect and make sure that, you know, in the future, nobody got their hands on those tapes. Yeah. I mean, who knows? That might be wrong. That might... I, who knows? But still, they didn't cover it up. They didn't no. cover up the fact that it happened. They told us about it. Yeah. So why cover up more? You know why? I don't understand. Like why they claim that there is a cover up? It's just it's just this one guy, and it's not Congress as a whole wanting to do this. It's not the U.S. Congress trying to get this together. It is one guy, yeah. Arlen Specter. And if you look at him, he looks like I don't know. He right. looks yeah. He looks like a douche, douche. Right. Yeah. yeah. But like an old wrinkly douche, right. like a. Like a okay. 70s bag of douche that was left out in the sun. Yeah. And yeah. now... And it is way later. It is wrinkled yeah. and unattractive. Just shriveled. Just still smells better. And it, All right. <laughs> and then apparently this Matt Walsh guy has said, oh, yeah, they had me videotaping uh, the Rams walkthrough right before the Super Bowl when the Patriots played the Rams and beat the Rams yeah. when the Rams were uh, two touchdown favorite. Yeah. Patriots beat him and then this Matt Walsh guy says, oh yeah, I uh, I, I videotaped their walkthrough. Well, huh. Dick Vermeil, who coached the Rams at the time, 
has come out and said, yeah, it's whatever, but I doubt that had anything to do with us losing that game. Players win games. Schemes do not. Yeah. Absolutely, he's absolutely Good. right. He's absolutely right. Makes sense. <laughs> what can you possibly find out by filming a walkthrough? A lot of teams will script their first drive. Yeah. They'll script it. They'll have all the plays set out that they want to, you know, run on their first uh, drive. Right. Right. Other than that, you can't script a whole game. No. What are you even going to find out with film? Right. That you can't see from any game that that team has played up until that point. Yeah. We all have film of these teams. Watch the game. Yeah, just check it out yeah. for a little bit. Watch the game.